out here in the vast escape of the desert, in a place called Darfur, it's hard to imagine that the mass genocide of African citizens is occurring. In 2003, after years of drought, famine, and injustice, two rebel groups, the Justice and Equality Movement and the Sudan Liberation Army, decided to oppose the Sudanese government. They claimed that the government was favoring those of Arab descent, while neglecting everyone else, especially the citizens of Darfur. In response to these accusations, the Sudanese government decided that their opponents, anyone who disagreed with them or their agenda, would be silenced. But they wouldn't just eliminate the rebel soldiers. Civilians, women and children too, became targets. In fact, 88% of those who have suffered had nothing to do with the original conflict. It started with aerial bombings and attacks by the army from the ground. This, however, was only the beginning. Soon, people were driven from their homes in a scorched earth campaign. By 2004, over a million people became refugees, forced to live in tents in the wilderness without any hope of going home. Today, that number has increased to 2.5 million. And still, the villages burn. Then, the mass killings began, along with intentional starvation and the sanctioned rape of women and young girls. 79% of all civilians who have died were directly killed by the Sudanese government. This does not include the other 21% of people who have died from sicknesses or national starvation due to the severity of this conflict. 80% of the children under five years old are suffering from severe malnutrition, and many are dying each day. These are not just nameless numbers and faces. These people are real, and so is their suffering. Every day, approximately 100 people in Darfur die waiting hoping for the change they so desperately need. How long will Darfur have to suffer? Imagine. Your baby brother starving and becoming a little skeleton before your eyes. What if your house was on fire, smoke filling your lungs as you ran with your family, dodging bullets in the dark? How would you feel? If your mother sister or lover was beaten or raped, left alone to bleed on the ground? Would you be angry? Outraged? Heartbroken? Would you pretend it wasn't real? Or would you stand up? And instead of burying your head in the sand? Do something about it? Please.